A white girl goes to South Africa, and all that changes is her profile picture. This was the title of an article that we read recently, and it's a stubborn and frustrating view that in our experience simply isn't true. During our visit to our South African partner schools last week, we encountered a vast array of challenges that developed and refined our personal perceptions. For the past few years, I've been sat where you're all sat now, listening to similar talks about our partnership with two South African schools, but never truly understanding why we were involved or the impact that we had on both Deniger and Grabau. We were there to continue this 12 year long partnership where students had previously gone before to help with building works and to help with sports coaching. Our task was to begin a new art project to symbolically represent the link between our, our schools. While we were there, we also had the privilege to experience a more vast understanding of South Africa outside of the schools. With the recent passing of Nelson Mandela, our trip to Robben Island Prison was a particularly poignant one. We had the honour of being shown around by an ex-political prisoner who was freed before Nelson Mandela and actually drove the bus that took Mandela to freedom in 1990. Listening to him was truly inspiring and it reminded us of the value of a society's history in its development today, the struggle of resetting a deep-rooted view and the admirable personal qualities of a rabble-rouser for peace. Mandela once said, we must use our time wisely and forever realise that the time is always ripe to do right. This is something that stayed with us and ignited our passion for our project work throughout the week. Originating from South Africa, but spending most of my life in the UK, I've always struggled to establish my identity. Having the opportunity to return prompted the question, would I be able to reconnect with the country I left 15 years ago? Visiting our partnership high school, Rabot, made me realise just how different my life could have been had I stayed in the country. It is a common misconception that everyone living in Africa is years behind in technological terms. But after visiting Rabot, we found that this stereotype could not have been more wrong. The students were keen to talk to us about social media. We were bombarded by friend requests on Facebook over the next couple of days. From this, it was clear that they had the same interest as us. It was amusing to listen to their perceptions on British culture that were shaped by programs such as Geordie Shaw and TOWIE, which unfortunately do not necessarily show the more positive side to the UK. We brought bracelets to the school made by Fallibroom students, and the Red Bob students made some for us to bring back. This is a wonderful way to enhance the bonds between our schools. We also did two other projects in the primary school, a world map painting at the front of the school and a sun sculpture. These remind us of the touching idea that we all live in the same world under the same sun. This was highlighted to us when the head teacher of Denegar, Sonia, said that no matter how many miles away they are, there are always people in the world that will care about Denegar. This was the point when we realised how much our partnership means to them and we could tell by the way that we reacted emotionally how much it now meant to us as well. Through fundraising activities such as the annual sponsored walk, we have raised thousands of pounds for both Grabau and Deniger. This money has been spent on buildings, teachers and educational resources. We've often been questioned about how and why money is spent on these trips, when it is true that the money could be spent on the latest technologies, such as iPads or better Wi-Fi connections. All the things we assume we need to make us happy. But the privilege of actually being there and being able to talk to friends and family and you today about our experience and how it has changed us is so valuable, it's priceless. Some of us returned with reset ideas of identity some with new career dreams, and some simply with a newfound passion to truly make a difference. But we can all agree, at, in the end, the least significant change of all will be our profile picture. Thank you. <laughs>